So I've decided to do a review of every Fallout Boy music video from Save Rock and Roll um, so far. I'm a few months behind, and yes, I know this. But I'm going to start with the song, My Songs Know What You Do in the Dark, and yes, there was a original um, demo of this song. It was a bit different. A bit different, yes. It was completely different than what this song is. Now, when the video starts, you see some chains walking up to, you know, you don't know it yet, but there's a fire, and there's, you know, there's credits that say, my songs know what you did in the dark, light them up. Um, before that, it says Fall Out Boy, obviously. And then you see this figure, and you see, you see this, you know, you see his bottom half. So you can assume it's a tall person, and you go, wait a minute, he's tall! That can't be anyone in Fall Out Boy! Okay, but, and it goes, goes on, you see his back, and you see him carrying a can of something. And you don't know what it is, sure, but then you see a smoldering pile of wood. Now, for some reason, there's just randomly a smoldering pile of wood. Okay, carrying on. And he walks up to this smoldering pile of wood, and pours whatever's in this container on it, which we're gonna assume it's gas, it's probably gas. And then you just kinda watch him doing this, and... Then he walks away, and you see the whatever it is dripping from the limbs. You see him light a match, even though his hands probably have gas on them. He holds it up to his sunglasses. Pretty dangerous. And he lights what appears to be a trail of gas, leading to the pile of smoldering wood that he's just doused in gas. No problem so far. No big issue. No big deal. But so far, I'm two minutes into my video, and 57 seconds into this video. And it appears, and you find out. At first, you look and you say, looks like Little Wayne. But then you say, he's too tall to be Little Wayne. And those of you who are relevant know that I'm just making a joke. It's two chains. And then two women swinging things, while well, one swinging the mic and the other one's just carrying something, get out and walk towards the fire. And so on and so forth, and portions of the band's equipment get broken, burnt, and destroyed in the process of this video. And the women pretend that they're, they're being all triumphant and hardcore, and look at me, I'm ruining Fall Out Boy's things, and... The song is a good song. I like the song. Um, they break things including amps, drums, and actual albums. And, uh, as the video progresses, you wonder where Two Chains went. Because you see the two women, but you don't really see him as much. And, um, here comes Two Chains back with the flamethrower. Which is awesome, by the way. I like fire a lot. And I like flamethrowers. They're a very interesting pieces. of weaponry. But, mind you, it's adding insult to injury, because not only is he aiming at it pretty much nothing, because everything that's burning is already in the pile burning, and he's shooting it just above where the fire starts. And then he slowly goes into the fire, I do know that, but, you know, it's... And they show a shot of, take this to your grave, burning, as a kind of, we're not the same bullet point. Um, and they're not. I like Fall Out Boy, I do. And I still like them. But I know a lot of fans got emotional with that. I just thought of it as, yeah, we know you changed, and we're so glad you're back. That's the only thing that matters at that point. We were like, we're all glad you're back. And then these two women, these two hoochie mamas, walk up to the back of the black van, and you see what appears to be Fall Out Boy, tied with things over their, you know, nasty things over their faces. And that's, you know, what happens in the video, including an ominous shot of two chains putting a match yet again up to his face. Now, I don't find a problem with this, I don't find a problem with the song itself, I don't find a problem with really anything. But the videos go on to tell a story, but this is the last video, or somewhere in there. Um, somewhere in there. 
this happens. But why is 2 Chainz there? Someone's gonna say, there was the remix of 2 Chainz. I didn't listen to it. Maybe I did, that's good. But, Now on to my next review, and you will see me doing that, and then blah, blah, blah.